So Ron, I know you've heard this question many, many times in your world, but uh, for our audience at Loveology, can you answer this question? What do you do when you're planning for big items in your budget, things like college or maybe a uh, uh, a grown child's upcoming wedding. Uh, what do you do? Because that's like, you know, that can really impact a budget. So what do you do? Well, first of all, uh, I think one, there's kind of a general ground rule. And that is that uh, you don't want to have coping gaps. And by that, I mean, the earlier you start, uh, like planning for college and planning for marriages and communicating that with your children, the less coping gap you're going to have when it comes time for going to college or uh, getting married. Uh, I think that parents need early uh, to think through how they're going to fund college education, if that's uh, in their plans, or if they can't afford it, what are, what are their alternatives? Uh, and have that well in hand before the junior year in high school for the child. Plus, uh, paying for college is uh, becoming incredibly expensive, as is student debt becoming uh, a huge problem. So if you don't think about these things when your children are seven, eight, and nine and begin planning for them, then when it comes time when they're 18, you're in a panic situation. When it comes to marriages, uh, man, that can be a biggie. I had three daughters and two sons. And uh, I told my first daughter, I said, well, you know, your mom and I got married for 300 bucks. Uh, <laughs> so I bet that I know went we can, really well. <laughs> yeah. So I said, we can start there. <laughs> but the way I worked it with marriages with the daughters is I set a budget. Yeah. And I said, you can spend that any way you want because you're going to buy a dress and you're going to buy flowers and you're going to buy entertainment and so forth and so on. But we had a budget and they could then uh, make their decisions as to how they wanted to spend that budget. I didn't want to be in the position of having to negotiate every spending decision. Uh, and it's their wedding. Yeah. Um, so so it's avoid the coping gap by planning ahead for those two big, big items. Yeah. Um, it's too late to begin planning when they are on you. Yeah, this is something that involves advanced planning and then delayed gratification, really socking that money away for when you get to that moment, right? There's no other, there's no shortcut to it. No, you know, it's been interesting too, as I've counseled people over the years and they followed the counsel, uh, Several, in many cases, uh, the couple that was getting married, for example, decided to really cut their expenses and save the money. Hmm. Um, uh, and I, I had said, look, whatever's left, you can have. This is how much I'm willing to spend on, uh, on the marriage. So, yeah. but you put the decision in the uh, child's hands as opposed to in your own hands of having to decide all that. Yeah. Uh, well, so really, communication, yeah. communication, communication, yeah. pre-planning, pre-planning, pre-planning. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a sense of empowerment comes out because you're entrusting your, your grown children to, to make the decisions that are best for them, too. So, Ron, thank you, as always, for your value here at Loveology. You bet.